Hello and welcome back to Dark Souls 2. Just to reload us into the mad. It's time for us to get out of this hellhole. Oh, there's some messages coming in. And we don't have that block symbol anymore. Which may mean that we can block on our own will. Yep. Nice. Still don't know what that was about. Maybe there's a key on the keyboard somewhere that uh, is like toggle block. That I somehow managed to hit. But that doesn't sound too likely. I don't think we have business there yet. We will eventually, but not yet. Oh, divine blessing. Bless the divines then. Does this armor actually offer any boys? Mm. I can't tell from this menu. Play status? boys is 1.5 so there is a piece of armor that I'm using that offers boys which is it this offers none this offers none this offers none is it the shield or is there like a natural boy stat that might be what is doing what uh, is happening that's a chance Alright, let's try this bonfire. Gives us the ability to actually do things. And you? Hello. Are you the next monarch? Or merely a pawn of fate? Bearer of the curse. I will remain by your side. Till this frail hope shatters. Take this with you. May it ease your journey. Go on and see the king. He who made Dranglake what it once was. He who peered at the essence of the soul. King Vendrin. Alright, that's nifty and all, but first of all, uh, what were we granted? Hey, we got an Estus flask, yeah, but that's. That makes perfect sense. I should put that as an item to use. Wait. There it is. I'm not sure how I was able to... Unable to recognize the symbol. It's a pretty common thing. It's something we've seen a lot. Okay, I just did some audio You're things. undead, aren't you? You have that distinct scent, the smell of irreversible fate. This is Majula. It is a kind of settlement, a place where life is almost normal. And in Dran Lake these days, there are very few places like that. I am Solden. And like you, I lost everything, and now I'm here. You probably heard that it was possible to break the curse here. Well, that's not true at all. There's nothing here for you, me, or anybody. Do you know much about souls? Even I'm not certain, but I'm told that the soul is the essence of life itself. Anything living, sentient or no, supposedly has one. What we call the curse is traceable to the soul. Do you see what that means? To be alive, to walk this earth. That's the real curse, right there. We undead will never die. And that's quite a predicament, really. There are four beings in this land with giant souls. And wherever you go from here, you'll sooner or later come up against them. Each has a powerful soul, 
and a terrible curse. If that frightens you, then you ought to just give up right now. Like I have. <laughs> Positive attitude, dear. Do you ever cry out for help? The journey of an undead is long and treacherous. You'll face invaders from other worlds at every turn. If you need help, why not proclaim faith in the Blue Sentinels? When you face danger, the Blue Sentinels will come to your aid. Protection is yours, if you wish. You need only accept their kind embrace. I'm going to do just that, because I was a blue sentinel with my other character for a while and there was no one summoning me ever. So at least I'll make someone stay better. The cat can help me become less... That is a wise decision. People are weak, but the blue sentinels watch over us in their benevolence. Let the sentinels cradle you in their embrace. I don't know, the sentinels really seem more likely to stab each other a lot. Hey. Do you feel lonely here? It suits me just fine, as I have nothing left anyway. It will grow on you, this place. Give it some time. What a positive attitude. Right. See ya. May you find peace on your journey. I'm more likely to find things to stab, but I appreciate the gesture. Alright, then. I still don't understand why everyone tells people to jump around here. I haven't actually looked into the, if it's actually a thing that is a wise decision. It probably is not. Come on these souls they will be of help we can also go ahead and rest in this bonfire and prepare ourselves for further adventure further adventure means of course talking to a lot of people who are you oh it doesn't matter just help me open this door I packed my tools in here Seeing it was vacant. But now somebody's gone and locked the door. I'm a blacksmith. I'm nothing without my tools. Bring me that key. Chop chop. Very well, sir. I'll look into it, that. Uh, there's an item over there. Which may be of interest. Whoop. It's a life gem. Uh, it's possible to get life gems pretty easily if you occasionally let yourself be summoned and the like. But they're not all that valuable, I don't think. I guess these flasks are the way to go, in my opinion. Those rats, though. Those rats. Those rats are from the devil. My other character is almost about to be able to one-shot them, but it's still like... Yeah. I'm just gonna run away. Fuck those rats. They're literally from the devil. The devil. I don't even believe in Jeebus. Right then, uh... Take a quick nap. And let's see if the... Trader we currently do have in town has anything of use to sell. Because that is why I used my things. Yeah, I'll talk to you in a second. I just need to go ahead and grab all your weapons and loot and whatever you can have hidden here. Probably nothing too valuable. It's one singular titanite shard. Eh, I appreciate the effort. I will need to spend a lot of uh, money on oh, this guy. Uh, hello there. Welcome to my uh, shop. I'm Morlin. 
and then, well, I sell armor. Oh, sorry, I... Please do have a look at my wares. I could really use the business. If you'd be so kind. Though, of course, I may go with a different set of armor with this character as I did with the last one. Uh, looks like it's just shields and armor. Hmm. Very well, see you around. Well, I, I, well, I do hope I see you again. You might. You need a weapon that is not a broken sword or a dagger. But I don't think there is such a an artifact available in this particular s space. Hmm. Alright, uh, we did get an item. The blue seal. It's not gonna see any use anytime soon because I'm pretty low level. It might eventually. Also because we can't actually buy anything with these souls, we might as well level up. Hey. Bearer of the curse. Seek misery. Thank you. That's good advice. For misery will lead you to greater, stronger souls. Okay, it might actually be good advice. You will never meet the king with a soul so frail and pallid. Seek those whose names are unutterable. The four endowed with immense souls. Their souls will serve as beacons. Once you have found them, return here to me. So that hope will not fade away. Okay, the lost in uh, uh, the old Iron King. I think the spider had a name. And then there was... Where else was there? Mm, I don't remember the fall. Is that a shard you found? Yes, it is. Please. Here, let me see it. So that I may help you. Thank you. To see light. To see hope. Finally, this conversation is getting somewhere. Faint it might be. Yeah, upgrade this. Thank you. Nice. Now let's level me up. Oh, it does still use quite a bit to level up. Okay. That's fine. I want to go with a primary dexterity build. For reasons of dexterity apparently being superior to strength. And with my game actually running at a decent frame rate of being limited to 30 uh, frames per second, uh, weapons that, you know, katanas and simitas, they're not about to break as quickly as they otherwise would, but they're still gonna break really quickly. You know, there might be some hope. Still haven't used uh, the rusted coin ever. I don't even really know what it's for. And it hasn't yet come up for me to find the situation where it is actually useful. Right, come on, open up the door. Keep the shield ready. Parma even. I still wonder how those two people died there. Like three people. There were three markers of people having died there. Blood stains. I could have used the blood stain to take a look, but I did not because I am not the wisest man in on this earth. You know. Something to look forward to in the future perhaps. Right. A human effigy. Well that certainly was it worth it. Well, on the other hand, we don't yet have the ability to become human by being summoned, so might be worth at this very moment. Alright, there's an ogre there. Who will not be a pri an issue, I don't think. Unless he does aggro when I go into the water, in which case he might be there to welcome me back. Oh no, this guy is. Not a problem. He is a problem because um, the sword doesn't deal any damage. Drop me your axe, dude. Fine. All right. 
Uh, I'll eventually get the weapon, promise. Like this, this broken sword isn't too terrible, but it's pretty terrible. Like the palma doesn't improve over the fact of how terrible this person is. They only got the palma because I thought that you know it might help against the terribleness of not having shield. Yeah, I it's a start. Pretty a start. I got bonfire lit. We can carry on casually because my both of my latest classes are still in fine shape, if I may say so myself, and I will say so myself. Come on. Let's bounce. Ooh! You have a full grown sword! Give it to me! I need your sword. Give me your sword, you can't pack it. Oh. Sadly, such a thing was not handed over for us. Oh well. Guess we'll have to give them another stab. Oh. Don't shit, bloody bastard. Don't shit, good. Uh, sadly, the Parma does not provide a 100% uh, physical defense, I don't think. Resistance even. Well, luckily for us, this guy is now dead. But we will have to drink. Oh, more company. Nice. And luckily for me, everything is slug based in this. Uh, luckily for me, he was uh, kind enough to get himself in a position from which he was not able to properly defend himself. I think there was a short sword in this area somewhere. Where is it? Doesn't appear to be quite as prominent. As it was in the past. Like, uh. Scholar of the First Sin changed the enemy spawn location a bit. So it was possible to get a really good sword from here back when. But sadly, that is no longer the case. Like, of course, there is the possibility that one of these kind people will drop a weapon. But it's not a guarantee. Come on, I punch him! My punch is apparently stronger than... Alright, uh... I want to see if that counts as being stronger against enemies as well when... I'm not... On a ladder. In fact... Oh, that's just... I don't have the stats to power stance fists, apparently. Like empty fists. That's just another soul. You know, uh, I should actually keep the weapon equipped. Maybe even keep the dagger as a backup. Oh, but I can't do that like that. It only works with a shield. Or if I don't have the dagger as a backup. Yeah, there we go. Okay, keep the shield up. Uh, it has good knockback, but it didn't really do enough damage. Oh well. Please tell me your weapon, not another... Okay, there's a short sword here. Which I believe is better than the broken straight sword. Yeah, it is. Same make too. So, we are improving on our uh, situation, except for the fact that I just dropped down like a big idiot. Almost lost all of my health. And now I'm gonna have to go down here to take cover from this situation that I just caused. Use a life gem because I don't really want to return to my bonfire. Wait for some people to come down here and kill them one by one. When I say one by one I mean 
Duty time apparently. What about infantry boots? Uh, how do they actually compare to what I have? Uh, generally worse. Not even any poison them. Okay, here we have another contestant. So they are approaching me in a small number, so it is pretty good. Alright, if I am on the ladder, will I have more people visiting me? Is it, did I wake everyone? I can't really tell. Does it look like it? Yeah, that dude is over there, just standing around like a big uh, doofus. This guy will wake up. But now with my sword being an actual sword, I may be able to defend myself against that threat. More problem against that guy there. Shit. Oh, that went really poorly. Uh, Estus flask it is! Hook! A good thing I Estus flask, eh? Alright, hollow infantry gloves and a human effigy. Once again, that... Might actually be useful at this state of the game. But I wouldn't bet my life on it. On it being useful, that is. So, are you all just, you know, the hand zombies? It looked like it. I was a hand zombie too at the moment, except I was still human. Uh, that's another broken straight sword. Now that's that still is qualified as being bloody useless. So yeah, uh, not the best equipment I'm getting from this, is it? Nope. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Also, that guy's gonna shoot me. It's as if I forgot about him for a second and actually let him shoot me instead of just uh, torching when I knew the thing was gonna happen.